Hi everyone, I'm Mario, and today we're going to be looking at something that I've been waiting for for quite a while, actually. This is going to be the pilot of Has Been Hotel by Vivzy Pop. I probably mispronounced the name, and that's a eh, par for course for me. This is a original cartoon series that has been spoiled and teased and teased even more and teased even more. Emphasis on the tease about the princess of hell who's trying to reduce the population by having them go to heaven because uh, the angels have been culling them through murder in hell because it's overpopulated. So she creates a hotel and it's just that right there. The description, the description. What is amazing though is just on the little bits and pieces they've shown so far and it's super expressive faces that are just insane. It, it reminds me a little of Rocco Modern's life, but they're not ugly. They're not disturbing or grotesque. They're, okay, they are. A lot of them can be grotesque, but it's like that super photogenic cartoon style, but taken to the extreme, it's made adult, and yet it just, it looks fun. And the obvious joke of, it's a nice person in hell. And of course, you know, demon or devil. I haven't really got that far yet. It's one that just, I am excited. I have been waiting to see the pilot for quite a while since I found out about this. Pro, oh, wow, probably over a year ago. And it's out. So for everyone wondering, there's a link below to the original video. Hit it up. I haven't seen this pilot yet, but I've seen everything leading up to it. Well, not everything, because I was trying to hold off on the spoilers, but enough that I really wanted more. And I was like, but I have the spoilers here. But I want to not be spoiled, but I have spoiler. It, it's, yeah, it's that. If you can't tell, I'm excited. This is, link below, original video. Just just go watch it a few dozen times. It's going to be worth it. And let's get started. Does that say Spindler Horse? I think it did. At the end of the rainbow, there's happiness. Not ex not exactly what I was expecting this. Find it how often I've tried. But my nice voice. Life Pretty sure this is the main character. Just a wild goose chase. And I love the little detail of like the frayed arms. Just to show that it's not the heroine. Well, it, it is the heroine, but not in the classical sense. I feel like this opening is just one giant poke at Disney. Oh, it's actually Earth. That actually surprises me. That is freaky. I mean, I know that's supposed to be the angels, but... Yeah. yeah it just says cleanse. Punishment. Your days are numbered. Yeah. Welcome to hell. Ooh, that's my work type. <laughs> Just that little annoyance right there, that face. Oh, I should have paused to read that. Now I'll come back for it. And they just killed someone. A surprise. Huh. You know, they say it's overcrowded, but there's actually not that many people. I say there's a lot more people up here. Next cleanse. Oh, 365 days. Oh, it's one year. Oh. And the cleanse is when they just go and, like, you know, get rid of a few people. A lot of people. Uh, uh, I guess oh, he's a hit. I'm alive! I'm alive! No, you're not! That was faster than I expected, yeah, even. Thanks for the fun time, hot stuff. Yeah, yeah, listen. Keep this discreet, you hear me? I can't let it get out. I'm offering my services to randos on the street. It was a quick cash grab. You got it? <laughs> Whatever you say, slut. <laughs> Ouch! Ooh, such an insult. Let me know when you come up with something creative to call me, you sack of poorly packaged horse shit. <laughs> Tell the missus I said hi. 
Schnuckum. <laughs> I don't even know who this character is yet. Well, but I already like it. Is that really? It's so over the top, I love it. Of my machines are unmatched. No other demon can compare to the likes of I. Gee, About to die, right? That was pretty swell. Egg number 23. Boss. Yeah, you really showed Do they have numbers? Four? I liked when you shot them with your ray gun. I wish he'd shoot me with his ray gun. At this rate, That's disturbing I in its own right. control of the entire west side of the pentagram by day's end. And nothing, not a single beast in this inferno of suffering will be able to take back this empire from my constrictive grasp. <laughs> They're even popping. I'm going to just call it champagne. will be mine, and everybody will know the name of Sir Pet Lord. Pardon? Who said that? What did you just say to me, you fried chicken fetuses? I couldn't actually understand what he said. That wasn't us, Mr. Boss Man. Wait, fried chicken fetus? Oh, yeah, the flags are. Boom. You looking for a fight? Old man. Why don't you get that Tinker Toy bullshit off my turf before I I'm trying so hard not to make uh, certain oh, you wanna go, Missy? references with the eye. <laughs> Good thing Fry isn't here! I couldn't resist. Good afternoon, I'm Katie Killjoy. And I'm Tom Trench. Chaos out of Pentagram City today. Oh, is a Trench, Trench Warfare, on the West gas side. mask. Nice Between effect there, actually. Kingpin Serpentius and self-proclaimed spunky powerhouse Cherry Bomb. That's right, Tom. After the recent extermination, many areas are now up for grabs. Demons all over hell are already duking it out to gain new territory. Those two seem to really King and Hell, there's the joke in that one. Looks like they're fighting tooth and nail for that hot spot. And I sure <laughs> like to nail her hot spot. <laughs> you are a lip dick jackass, Tom. Oh! No doubt. Next, we have an exclusive interview with the daughter of Hell's own head honcho, who's here to discuss her brand new passion project. Just, the eyes. The eyes just look so different from everyone else. Make sure to stand up. You remember what to say? Yes, let's do this. Just look at me. It's just smiling looks so weird. Come on, Baggy. I know what to say. I just feel like we need to, I don't know, make things Vaggy? sound more exciting. Ooh, what if I sing? sing a song about it? You knew I was going to say that. Because I know you. But don't. Please don't sing. This is serious. Well, you know. <laughs> it's like she's trying to be a Disney. Oh yeah, basically she's trying to be a Disney princess. Song. I love it. But life isn't a musical, hun. Fine, but I have these other ideas of what to say. The You're not touching that one. Are the best parts. Uh, it's all highlighted. Is this a drawing? Yes, that's the happy ending. See, everyone's smiling and happy in heaven. I don't think it's that <laughs> Just please follow the talking points we went over. And do not sing. Okay, She's gonna sing, isn't she? Fine. Oh come on! That, they're leading up to it so much. I love it already. improv skills. Hi, I'm Charlie. Katie Killjoy. I'd say it's. She lives up to her name. But that would be a lie. You can put that away. I don't touch the gays. I have standards. The gays? Yeah? How's, uh, how's that working out for you? Look. My time is money, so I'll keep this short. <laughs> Standards. You're not here because we wanted you here. You're here because Jeffrey couldn't make it for his cannibal cooking segment. You might be some royal big shot, but that I guess he mean was, uh, to me. is what I'm he eats. too rich and too influential to give a flying fuck <laughs> about what some tux-wearing demon princess wants to advertise. But I... So don't get cute with me, honey, or I will fucking bury you. And we're live. Considering you're already in hell, that wouldn't do much. Go, so, Charlotte. Or would it? It's... Charlie. Whatever. Tell us about this new passion project you've been insistently pestering our news station about. Well. <laughs> They're all so over the top. I love it. A 
As most of you know, I was born here in hell, and growing up, I always tried to see the good in everything around me. Hell is my home, and you are my people. We... we just went through another extermination. We lost so many souls, and it breaks my heart to see my people being slaughtered every year. No one is even given a chance. It might just be me, but I can't stand I'm going Gundam protagonist right now on this. Subjected to such violence. So I've been thinking, isn't there a more humane way to hinder overpopulation here in Hell? Perhaps we can call you now. It's not overpopulation; why they're being slaughtered. Well, not entirely. Redemption. Well, I think Faces yes. on those angels. So that's what this project aims to achieve. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm opening the first of its kind. A hotel that rehabilitates sinners. They're going to boo or laugh. Oh god, that face. You know, cuz hotels are for people passing through temporarily. <laughs> yep, Is laughter. This girl to read. She thinks you hear what she thinks. She <laughs> Oh, she's nuts. I figure it would serve a purpose. Really? Uh, that, that was the reaction, just that she's nuts? That's actually yeah. nicer than I was expecting. <laughs> Stupid bitch. Ha! Baggy, Look, best person, every lover. One of you has something good deep down inside. I know you do. Maybe I'm not getting through to you. Oh. No. Yeah. She just has a random piano? I have a dream. I'm here to tell. She actually has a nice voice. A wonderful, fantastic new hotel. Yes, it's one of a kind. Right She's here. actually not bad at it, but I don't think that's what they're looking for. Harmonizing goats. I gotta show this to Pretty Guardian so much. It's so over the top silly. I love every second of this. Oh, this is gonna be my head all night. Okay, two reference to. This one? Oh. Okay, that's just that's a nightmare right there. I love the little bits where you see like the dark evil eyes and the sharp teeth will often just a little dichotomy. <laughs> oh god, I I need to go by nature, this it's so awesome. This is just... I love the creativity on display here. That last scene even looked like Wreck-It Ralph. Wow. Laughter or boo? That was shit. <laughs> Good shit or bad shit? I think we get that straight. Yeah. In the nine circles makes you think a single denizen of hell would give two shits about becoming a better person. You have well, no she's a single dentist in the hell, so works. yeah, right there. You want people to be good just because? <laughs> well, we have a patron already who believes in our cause and he's shown incredible progress. Oh, and who might that be? Oh, just someone named Angel Dust. The porn star? You fucking would, Tom. Yep. In any case, that's not even an accomplishment. Oh god, the, the I'm neck. I'm sure you get that hooker to do anything with enough booger sugar and lube. Oh, I beg to differ. He's been behaved, clean, and out of trouble for two weeks now. Breaking news. I knew where this was coming from. Receiving word that a new player has entered the ongoing turf war. Let's go mm -hmm. to the live feed. Angel dust, right? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Indeed, it looks like the one who just joined the battle is none other than porn actor Angel Dust. What? A I am shocked. Shocked, I say. You must feel really. I love how they actually right led now. up to it too by just having the intro <laughs> folks on Angel Dust first. Don't look at this. Well, it sure looks like your little project is dead on arrival. 
Tell us, how does it feel to be such a total failure? <laughs> oh God, a cicada in the neck cracking sounds. How does it feel that I got your pen, huh? Bitch. Really? Really? That actually had an effect? How do they get there anyways? Do they have to die or are they just born there? Some broads are letting me stay rent free if I play nice. <laughs> you know, no fights, no pranks, no Break two eggs. language. Her words, not mine. These crazy bitches are no fun. Been clean for two weeks. Holy shit. Well, oh, sort of. He actually was? As clean as you can get. Doing a shitload of Bolivian marching powder. I mean, yeah, but you're in hell. What do you expect? Oh, harder, daddy. <laughs> oh, I get it. Eggs, not viper. No yeah, yeah I, get, I get it now. The side Vipers remembered eggs. is the side with the most style. Or the side that ain't dead. Speaking of style, is your hat like alive or something? Oh, Probably. Well, that's none of your goddamn business. Now is it? See, now I'm going to focus on that. The top and you the bottom. <gasps> going to blow the you eggs. To I want them to stick around. Oh, not like that, pervert! <laughs> oh! Not so cocky. Yeah, actually pushed her out of the way. Are we? You know, you really gotta watch what comes out of your mouth. Uh, I've been making these sex jokes the whole time, and it's obvious you ain't catching on. I mean, it's just sex. So think you're gonna get in a lot of trouble for this? Oh eh, yeah. Much more little ball gonna cause. <laughs> <laughs> He's on fire. my favorite guy to party with. You know it, sugar tits. You ready to finish this? Jerry Bomb is awesome. Angel Dust is awesome. Charlie is awesome. The eggs are awesome. I'm loving every second of this. To be fair, the song number didn't hurt, and she's broken. What? Face. what? What? What were you doing? I owed my girl buddy a solid. Isn't that a redeeming quality? Helping friends with stuff? Not with turf wars that results in territorial genocide. Eh, you win some, you lose a few hundred. <laughs> it wasn't that bad anyway. Oh, come on, I had nice to. Aim with a knife. My credibility was on the line. I mean, what kind of reputation would I have if people found out I was trying to go clean? It just throws out my entire persona. Your credibility. What I think the irony the there is, you know, the little actions little they showed, like pushing the one girl like out of the way, Cherry Bomb. Joke. That actually no, no, does no, kind of show that Charlie Jokes might be working. Funny. I made you look uh, sad and pathetic, like an orphan with no arms or legs. Uh, oh, with progeria. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. That sounds terrible. I'm thinking about it. This thing have any liquor? Can you please just try <laughs> to take this seriously? Just, Charlie's Fine, not I'll even try. saying a word, but she's awesome. Your taco in a twist, she's like, how did they have her just drawn up in such incredible facial animations? Whatever pisses you off more. Is there seriously no liquor in here? I'm gonna kill him. Dual yeah. Lights. Wait, would that make me double dead? <laughs> Where exactly do I go? Okay, so Angel Dust wasn't hell? born in there then. <laughs> Sorry, you're stuck with me, bitch. Get used to it. <laughs> Listen, who cares if some jagoffs got hurt? Most of them are ugly freaks. Look around. You got a bunch of fucking Harlequin babies down you're here. You're one to talk. Hey! <laughs> body is that actually flawless. got him. Everyone wants some of me, and I got the creepy fan that is to prove it. <laughs> that was really uncool, you know, Angel. Uncool? After that train wreck, there is no way anyone is gonna want to stay at the hotel. All thanks to actually, you, that I don't might go the other way. Bullshit. Does that mean I don't have a free room anymore? Nope. Ah, oh, she is so done with this shit. Hey, come on. We don't know if things are over yet. Try to relax, Baggy. It'll be okay. Now, I wonder what Baggy's angle is. Could be the old fashioned, you know, she's there for her, but might be something else too. Ugh. This place looks terrible. Like, literally terrifying. 
Copsies. It's probably a good idea to get some actual food in this place. You know, to feed all the wayward souls you got in here. Yeah. <laughs> now that, that right there, just that moment where they actually tried. That's empathy in hell. It also shows Charlie ain't wrong. I love little things like that. Hey, Mom. Um, Is that the area code not fine. accepted sound? And, uh, you must be busy. Really <coughs> busy. But, um, the interview didn't go well, and... E. I don't know if I'm going to make a difference. I don't know Oh, I get doing. it. The re that I wasn't really a connection sound. Advice, Mom. It was explicit. I, She's talking to no one. Dad was right about me. <laughs> well, anyway, I'll stop talking before this gets long. Love you. Bye. That's the not connecting sound, so she wasn't even leaving a message. If I'm right, this is going to be that super creepy one they showed in the uh, recording studio. Called it! Hello. Oh. What is hey, with the Peggy? voice? What? The radio demon is at the door. Oh, what? that's the radio demon. What should I do? Well, don't let Oh, me yeah, in. radio demon. That would explain the voice. May I speak now? You may. Alistair, pleasure to be meeting you, sweetheart. Quite a pleasure. Excuse my. Oh, the voice is intentional. I saw your fiasco on a picture show, and I just couldn't resist. What a performance! Why, I haven't been that entertained since the stock market crash of 1929. Oh, wow. <laughs> so many orphans. Oh, God. God, equally fair. I know your game. And I'm not going to let you hurt anyone here, you pompous, cheesy talk show shit lord. Dear, if I wanted to hurt anyone here, I would have done so already. Now, I'm here because That was legitimately terrifying. To say what now? Oh! <laughs> Hello? Is this thing on? Testing? Testing? He's treating it like a reality TV show, isn't he? Um, you want to help with... This ridiculous thing you're trying to do. This hotel! I want to help you oh run it! Oh, God. Uh, why? <laughs> why does anyone do anything? Fun. Sheer absolute boredom! I've lacked inspiration for decades. My work became mundane, lacking focus. Aimless! It's I've interesting, come like, to crave a new form Every now and again, it seems like the voice is getting more clear. <laughs> does getting into a fist fight with a reporter count as entertainment? Yes. <laughs> It's the purest guide, my dear. Reality! Truth, Called it. Passion. Reality TV. After all, the world is a stage. And the stage is a world. Did he just turn around thing. without moving his body? So, does this mean that you think it's possible to rehabilitate a demon? <laughs> <laughs> of course not. That's wacky nonsense. Redemption. Oh, the non-existent humanity. No, 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 no. It's, I love I how they're all calling it that. that could but such little things, sinners. quiet moments have the shown it actually happens was already. They lived before. The punishment is this. There is no one doing what is done. So then, why do you want to help me if you don't believe Fun. in my cause? Boredom. Consider it an investment in ongoing entertainment for myself. I want to watch the scum of the world struggle to climb up the hill of betterment. Only to repeatedly trip and tumble down to the fiery pit of failure. See, just for a bit there, it got clearer. Right. I'm going with his entire bit is the more honest, the more clear. Yes, indeedy. I see, see it's back to being very radio-ish. Uh, so, uh, what's the deal with smiles over there? Wait, you've never heard of him before? You've Ooh, been this is how they're interacting. Me. The radio Exposition. Demon, one of the most powerful beings hell has ever seen. Eh, not big on politics. <laughs> Ugh. Decades ago, Alistair manifested in hell. Seemingly overnight, he began to topple overlords who had been dominant for centuries. That kind of raw power had never been harnessed by a I love these little drawing form. styles. Then, he broadcast his carnage all throughout hell, just so everyone could witness his ability. Sinners started calling him the Radio Demon. As lazy as that is. Yeah. Many have speculated what unimaginable force enabled him to rival our world's most ancient and destructive evils. Probably heaven. Calling it now. But heaven. one thing's for sure. 
The eye kind of looks similar to how they portray the angel in the beginning. Danger, a wicked spirit of mystery and a violent monster of chaos, the likes of which we can't risk getting involved with unless we want to end up erased. Get done. He looks like a strawberry pimp. Well, That's probably accurate, too. Him. To be fair, do you trust any man? Any men? <laughs> men? Charlie, I mean, you're listen, literally in hell. You can't believe this creep. He isn't just a happy face. He's a deal maker. It's pure evil. He can't be redeemed. And is most likely looking for a way to destroy everything we're trying to do. I... Probably. We don't know that. Look. Yeah, you kind of do. I know he's bad, and I know he probably also, I love how the eyes are so change. super expressive. But the whole point like, of how they get bigger and smaller on everything. To have faith, things will be better. Whoa, 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 whoa. That face. Away. I can't. It goes against everything that I'm face is really do. close to everything the dad in that picture. In. Just trust me. Relative or person? It's the same. Charlie. Whatever you do, do not make a deal with him. Don't worry. I picked up one thing from my dad. Oh, no. You don't take shit from other demons. Oh, but you took all the shit okay, earlier. So, now, you're sketchy as fuck, and you clearly see what I'm trying to do here as a joke. But I don't. I think everyone deserves a chance to prove they can be better, so I'm and like, I love again. Help. They're already starting to show I'm in little moments. I'm the condition that there be no trickster voodoo strings attached. So it's a deal then. See, th right at the end, right at the end, it got clear. Nope, uh, no shaking, no deals. I, hmm, as princess of hell and heir to the throne. What does that mean, I, uh, anyways? Hereby order that you help with this hotel for as long as you desire. Technically accurate, yeah. Uh, sound fair? Hmm. Fair enough. Cool beans. He probably was being honest about it just being for fun. Smile, my dear. You know you're never fully dressed without one. <sighs> so where is your hotel staff? Uh, Hi. Well. Oh, you're going to need more than that. <laughs> and so what can you do, Maya? It's not Hello? wrong. I can suck your dick. Ha! No. Your loss. <laughs> well, this just won't do. I suppose I can cash in a few favors to liven things up. Damn. What is that? It has an eye. It's cute. This little darling is nifty. Hi, I'm nifty. It's nice to meet you. It's been a while since I've made new friends. <laughs> Why are you all women? I'm sorry if that's rude. Oh man, this place is filthy. Really Technically, that is a guy. Touch, which is weird because you're all ladies, no offense. Oh my gosh, this is awful. Nope, 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 nope. Pretty sure the radio demon's a guy, too. Nope. Ha! Freedom and wheat, boys. Oh. <laughs> Hell? What the fuck is this? <laughs> you. Ah, Husker, my good friend. <gasps> I love it. I love how he's just so pissed already. Me. Son of a bitch. I was about to win the whole damn pot. Good to see you two. What the hell do you want with me this time? My friend, I am doing some charity work, so I took it upon myself to volunteer your service. <laughs> I hope that's okay. That's evil. Are you shitting me? Hmm. No, I don't think so. You thought it would be some he has kind a laugh of track. big fucking riot just to Oh, I get it. His thing is cards. That's why he has the wing cards. Some kind of fucking clown? Oh, suit. Maybe. <laughs> I ain't doing no fucking charity job. Well, I figured you would be the perfect face to man the front desk of this fine establishment. With your charming smile and welcoming energy, this job was made for you. <laughs> Don't worry, my friend. I can make this more welcoming. If you wish. Cheap booze. Ooh. Again. You think you can find when he acts, and when he makes something happen, booze? the voice goes clear. Well, you can. Hey, 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 hey. No. No bar. No alcohol. This is supposed to be a place that discourages sin. Not some kind well, of just, now, It's not entirely sin if you don't know that. Shut up. We are keeping this. Hi. <laughs> Only if you watch me. Oh my gosh. Welcome to the Happy Hotel. You are It's actually called the Happy Hotel. Here. I lost the ability to love years ago. And I still oh, love that booth. What do you think? This is amazing. It's 
Okay. She's just rubbing her cheeks. This is going to be very entertaining. <laughs> you have a dream you wish to tell. And it's just laughable, and again, but hey, kid, it's the, the little hell? thing. It's not just the singing aspect. Because you're cool. one of a kind. But Alice is using the power he has, and it's got clear of it. give these burning fools a place to dwell. Take it, boys! <laughs> Inside of every demon is a lost cause. <laughs> but we'll dress them up for now with just a smile. Or an cesspool with some old redemption flair and show these simple tips. If this follows with most song members in Disney, oh, which this does seem to be parodying to a certain extent. Songs are usually more truthful than the most of the dialogue. Oh! Hey, the snake guy's back. Well, well, well. Look who it is harboring the striped freak. We meet Which one? again, Alistair. Oh, they've do met. Do I know you? Oh, <laughs> yes, you do. No, he doesn't. And this time, I have the element of surprise. Is he going to blow up on him? Point up. Oh, he just Cthulhu'd in hell. He just Cthulhu'd the snake. Ouch. Oh, they have brains. Isn't this what... Oh. That looks just like that. Oh, the one who got smushed. Yeah, that's the right reaction. <laughs> well, I'm starved. Who wants some jambalaya? My mother once showed me a wonderful recipe for jambalaya. In fact, it nearly killed her. <laughs> you could say that. And she's was back right the second that oh, identical oh, monster oh, went away. Roll. Yes, sir. This is the start of some real. Is that the Titanic? Down here. The game is set. Random Titanic in the side of the building. Now. Ah! Stay tuned. Ooh, that's ominous. I love it. Ooh, more of the eggs. Ha! He lived! That's actually a little surprising. Now will you shoot me with your ray gun? He wants to die a lot. And for everyone who didn't realize already, that was a thing of beauty. Every little bit of that was so well done. I love all the effects, all the voices, and just making Alistair stand out by having him have that radio voice. Like, he even pronounces it like the old-style words. Well, that's actually fun to do. I won't do it again, I promise, but yeah, just, it, yeah. And I, that little comment I was keep making about how every time he started to use his power, his voice got just a little bit clearer, and when he was singing, it was at its clearest, but he was also changing up everything. I'm not thinking that was just, you know a song number where it just looked crazy, but, you know, he was actually doing that. I'm going to take it that way. Could I be wrong? Oh, sure, easily, it's me. But I love that they put that in there. But one of those little quirks I've noticed in animation is that sometimes you'll have the main characters moving and then the background's very static. And for a lot of the time when they were just talking and the dialogue was happening around the characters, that is what happened. And don't get me wrong, the background was beautiful. It's so freaking emotive. And you get the setting... As a character at this point, it's like I normally hate when people say that. Uh, bad experiences in college. <laughs> Professors thinking the Mississippi River was a character. No, 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 it wasn't. No, the character is not. No, it's not. But this is one of the few examples of fiction. I'm going to just call it that because why not? Where I think hell is its own character in Has Been Hotel because every little piece of it was designed to tell a bit of the story. And God knows, they started off on the one massive part, just showing you the aftermath of a cleansing and just getting to see the angels like, no, no, those are pretty screwed up. I mean, yeah, Charlie is the best and nicest thing in the entire series. And I mean, nicest and cleanest and most pure. Hello, close after by Vaggie, just because... She, I'm going with it now. She's probably going to be the moral center because she actually seems to care about someone else more than herself. Where even Charlie is doing this because it's what she wants to do. I mean, it's for the right reason, but I think Vaggie's doing it for Charlie. I mean, maybe love, maybe just friendship. I don't know. And I want to find out more. Alistair? I'm calling it now. He's probably an angel because 
Those angels in the beginning were really screwed up. Also, just that little thing where they showed Charlie's mom and dad next to her, which at least I think that was Charlie's mom and dad next to her. That, they made a point. The int- I keep saying they, but there was one person I think who did this and an entire team of people acting it, but the positioning of the camera so that you could see the dad's face with a smile identical to Alistair's. That. just It's so much of a hint there, but we don't have enough context yet to know what it's a hint of. And it's definitely baiting the audience for later because you know that is going to be important when they make more episodes. And again, I just say they because I'm not really sure the who the person is much, but I just love every second of it. I love things like that where they're baiting in things that you know will be important, little plot hooks that will be brought up later. Because it also shows that the storytelling is thinking ahead to further plot elements that they're not even reaching out yet. They're not just throwing things at the wall and just letting them stick. This is forethought. It's brilliant. And on the animation, even though when I said earlier, the static backgrounds with the moving characters, and don't get me wrong, the characters super emotive eyes, big faces, over-exaggerated smiles. It's like, hey, if you're in hell and you're a cartoon, you might as well go over-exaggerate. And the eyes, like, they grow and they shrink and they narrow and they change color and aspect and iris. And they're so emotive. You can get so much emotion and depth of character just from the actions. It's beautiful. But then when they sing and everything, not just the characters, but the entire world around it, and like I said, it is a character, not just in its actions, but because when they are singing, and that was a surprise that they did such a good job. I, yeah, those will be in my head for a while, all the songs. But the entire scenery is dancing along with the character. Okay, maybe dancing is an exaggeration, but moving along with the character, and it's beautiful. God, this is... There's so many things to say, but the one that I have already harped on quite a bit and I will continue to harp on, I love how every single person is telling her, telling Charlie that no one is going to change, that everyone is a lost cause. And Alistair changed the name from Happy Hotel to Has Been Hotel, which is, you know, made sense. I was kind of confused why I was called Happy at first. And he was clearly not believing any of it. But then it's already spoiled that she is right. Charlie is right. Because of little things with (laughs) Angel Dust. Like when he was fighting with Cherry Bomb. I mean, yeah, he's acting as if he isn't changed. But then there was that little moment where he pushed Cherry Bomb out of the way and he got stuck instead. Yeah, sure, he got out of it right away. But it's little actions like that that showed, you know, maybe there's more going on. And then when Charlie was really depressed and they were inside and they were no longer just you know, him being a dick, no longer just trying to psych out Vaggie. But Charlie saw, or Charlie was all depressed, and Angel does just, there was that little section, the impulse to go and comfort her. There was actual care there. And that's exactly what everyone else says can't even happen. And Angel Dust was already saying, not even saying it, but just acting. There was emotion shown there. And this is one of the reasons that the emotive characterizations is so useful because you don't need the words to get across exactly what happened there. It's brilliant. I love it where every single line says it won't happen. The character who is doing it says it's not happening, that they are not being reformed. And then they show that it's already starting. It's that little promise that it's going to happen. And it's beautiful to watch. Ah. <sighs> All those times where I was trying to avoid all the little character shorts and all the extras they've been putting out because I wanted to go in blind to this. So worth it. (laughs) Plus, now I can go back and watch them all now. But I'm really enjoying this. I like the characterization. I like the grim, dark nature of it. It's like when you took the underlying horror that was Adventure Time and you just decide not to make it underlying anymore and right in your face. Seriously, when you really get into it, Adventure Time was... Kind of fucked up. Yeah. The more you think about it, the more you don't want to think about it. I'm looking forward to episode two. How long will it take? I don't know. But again, link below, original video. And if you really like it, Patreon. The guy has one. Find him. Also, I will probably be buying merch because that was amazing. And yes, I will be showing this to Pretty Guardian. And I have a feeling she will start singing that song. Maybe I shouldn't show it to Pretty Guardian. 
all the same to everyone. I know I said it a bunch. I'm going to say it again. Link below original video. Just make sure to go hit it up because this is just the pilot episode. There's going to be more. I hope to God there's more because this is... Uh, this is something I'm really glad came out. Make sure to support the creator. This is truly amazing. And if this is the kind of amazing stuff YouTube could try to promote... YouTube? YouTube? I know what you are like with animations. No, bad YouTube. Try to be nice. Yeah. Just link below original video. Hit it up a few dozen million times if you can. This is definitely worth rewatching. Plus all the little things that are hiding in there because there's so much animation, so many little things in there. You're probably going to mention and just see tons of things. I mean, I'm going to rewatch this just to see what I missed. And it'll be worth it because there's just... there's This is one of those creations where there's multiple layers of different things. Use the technical term, they're things. Hidden within the animation, the dialogue, the implication... The ones I've pointed out are just the obvious ones, and they're so worth pointing out. I can't wait to see what comes next. It's all the same. I'll see everyone in the next episode, which I hope comes soon, as in this year. Or, well, yeah, even next year, this decade. Adios. <laughs>